Premier Arena is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details of this brand new event and the best solar build for you to beat this with in your game. So the first phase of the Premier Arena is running from this weekend as we're recording this video today on the 10th of May and running till the 12th. It will be returning the following weekend from the 17th until the 19th. Premier Arena going to be level 100. It will have its hidden ability of Liquid Voice. The moves it's going to have are going to be Moonblast, Sparkling Array, Sing, Psychic and additional moves of Encore and Surf. Of course it will have its mightiest mark. It can never be shiny and it will have the Fairy Terror type with a modest name. Nature. Of course, it can be only catchable once per save file, but you can repeat the raid over to get the high item drops. And talking about item drops, it does drop everything that a normal 7-star terror raid would. Large XL candies, calciums, you're going to get fairy terror shards as well this occasion, and ability patches. But the most important thing, as always, is going to be those Herba Mysticas. You're going to get an array of all five Herba Mysticas. They're all going to have a 3% chance to drop each time in the raid that you do defeat the Primarina and you can get multiples at the time. So a really good event to farm for Herba Mysticas, which is normally quite a difficult item to get a hold of. And this one's not going to be too difficult to kind of repeat and farm over the weekend when it is running. Of course, if you don't go online after the weekend, the event will stay in your game till the next time you do go online. So if you want to keep it in your game, don't go online. Just farm for those Herba Mysticas until you've got as many of them as you want after beating the Primarina. So the build that we're featuring today is going to be for Gold Dingo. It's going to be the Steel and Ghost type. It's going to have the Terra type Steel. It is going to have the held item of a Shell Bell. We'll be level 100 hyper trained as usual. So just make sure that all those IVs are set to 31. I have a move set of Light Screen, Nasty Plot, Make It Rain, and Flash Cannon. Might be an idea to PP max the Flash Cannon, but not super necessary. Good as gold ability and an EV spread of 252 EVs in HP and 252 EVs in special defense with the remaining six put in special attack with a modest nature. So that is the gold ingo. This is the one that I would recommend you use for this raid. Of course, it will be down in the description below if you want to check it out after the video uh, with all the details there. And with that, we will jump straight into the raid and I'll show you how easy it can be to take down this Primarina over the weekend. So when you first come into the raid against the Primarina, you're not going to see a turn zero like we'd normally do against these other seven star terror raid Pokemon that we've seen. I'm going to just first off by setting up three nasty plots to get a, a special attack up to plus six so we can do good damage at the initial stage of this raid. You're going to see a combination of things like Sing coming out from the Primarina and Sparkling Array as well, which is a powerful water type attack that's going to do decent damage to your Goldingo. Sing obviously not going to affect us because of the good as gold ability. So you can just keep an eye on your health at this stage if you're taking a lot of damage from the Sparkling Array. Um, just kind of keep an eye on that while you're setting up these nasty plots but you should with the ev investment that we've got in the goldingo be able to pretty seamlessly set these nasty plots up consistently every time you come into the raid as you can see we've got our third one set up here and all we're going to do is lock in with our flash cannon along the way you'll see the primarina steal some terra orb damage from you as well so it means you're going to have to spend an extra turn before you can terrestrialize in the raid uh, but that's fine you can see we do some good damage with that flash cannon early on and then we're just gonna, if we can, before the shield goes up, because the shield goes up about 80% of the Primarina's health remaining, uh, we go for another uh, flash cannon if you're able to, but if not, just lock in with the flash cannon as well, because we're gonna get to a stage in a minute where it is gonna put the shield up, it is gonna nullify the stats on its side of the field, and then after that, is subsequently going to remove the stat boosts on our side of the field as well as our abilities and then it's going to fire off an encore and you don't want to get locked into a make it rain where it is putting you in a position where it does get a little bit tricky so we'll go for another flash cannon before it does nullify the stat boost on our side of the field also ticking down our terrestrialization counter as well which is always going to be a good thing uh, for us to be able to um, kind of do so we can terrestrialize a bit quicker as you can see it does nullify the stat boost on our side of the field and locks the Umbrian into an encore thankfully not us so we get a bit lucky with the RNG in this situation 
Um, and as you can see, what we need to do here is we need to set up a light screen before we do anything else. So that's the first thing we want to do this turn. It means that we're going to be able to take those special attacks coming out from the Primarina a little bit better. Now, it will also nullify our abilities here. So it will mean that we are put to sleep. So you're going to have to spend a turn just going for that heal chair because our good as gold ability has been nullified but we do have the light screen up so that's fine what we need to concentrate now on is going for those nasty plots again just to boost our special attack back up to plus six before we can start attacking but we're at this stage now where we're close to being able to terrestrializing oh we can terrestrialize so we're going to be fine you just want to keep an eye on your health at this stage go for these nasty plots if you do get low on health you're going to just have to terrestrialize get some damage off but hopefully rng is kind to you you're going to see a couple of things where you are given those free turns where you can get the nasty plots off. We're up to plus four now. We ideally want to get to plus six, see what happens this turn, but the light screen definitely helps you out in these situations where you are able to take these sparkling rares a lot better and then get these nasty plots up. So we get that final and third nasty plot up back up to plus six, and it's not gonna nullify our special attacks for the rest of this turn. Uh, so we're now in that point where we can terrestrialize and we can start doing some big damage in return to this Primarina and start cutting through it to close this raid up quickly. You can see we're pretty healthy with the raid timer as well at this stage. We're not taking really too much uh, risk we're not in any hurry at this point we just want to just consistently now just chip away at it with these flash cannons until the shield just break and um, it will start kind of throwing out double attacks at some stage but we're going to be healthy enough at that point I think with the recovery from the shell bell where we're going to be able to just close this raid up pretty quickly uh, in the next few turns so you can see it is going to just fire off another thing and I think this is what makes the Goldingo probably one of the more consistent builds in the that, that we've got in Scarlet and Violet for the Primarina just because of that good as gold ability we have the ability to set up pretty quickly with the nasty plot we've got the light screen as well to kind of mitigate damage and then fire off consistent damage with flash cannon which has the secondary effect as well to potentially lower the special defense on the Primarina so if you get lucky with the RNG in that respect you're going to speed uh, the damage output out a lot with those special defense drops as well so they will drop through the shield as well which is a big kind of thing to keep an eye on so you can see kind of making really good way of catching up with the raid timer here so another two flash cannons break the shield and then a maker rain is going to be enough to kind of end the raid as well so that's exactly what we're looking for and we're in a really healthy position even after the double up there from the sparkling area and the surf as well that does come out so you just need to make sure that you're doing the steps that we've done in the raid so far and you'll have no trouble running through the primarina uh, with the gold ingo everyone has access to gold ingo it's in the base games it's called and violet and you're going to have an easy time doing it with this there are a few obviously turns where the rng can affect you throughout the raid like the turn where it does lock in with an encore that's pretty annoying if it does lock you in with an encore there but as long as you're locked in with the flash cannon at that stage it's not too bad because you can just chase down your trastalization if it does knock you out it ends the encore so when you come back out into the field you just concentrate on getting that light screen up go for those nasty plots and then do the same thing as we've done here you can see here we are going to take a critical hit for our trouble but we're still not in any sort of trouble here because one more flash cannon will break the shield then like i say we're going to be in that position where a make it rain is going to be enough to kind of clean up the primarina for us to just catch and there's plenty of time on the raid time I left and you're going to be able to farm through it for these herba mysticas just pick up the primarina if you want while the event's running this weekend and of course it's not the fastest of uh, pokemon to run through the raid with but it is a very consistent one you're going to have no trouble doing it with the gold dingo and uh, we'll be able to wrap things up here and of course if there is a faster more uh, faster solo raid build that we do come up with of course when i'm back from the regional this weekend i will cover it on the channel as soon as i'm able to but there is the make it rain ends it up and then you're going to be able to be in a position where you can catch the primarina uh in whatever pokeball you like and i'll probably get it in a beast ball considering that i've been able to get a bunch of them from the item printer so oh, we get two herba mystic as a salty and a spicy along with a leather 
lot of high cost items and that's Primarina. It roughly takes just over about seven minutes to do it with the Goldinger, so it's not too bad really when you're considering farming for Herba Mystica. Uh, you're going to be able to run through it pretty consistently with the Goldinger to pick up and farm this event over the weekend while it is running. Of course, if you do want to respawn the den because you only get one seven star turret appearing on your map at once, hit your home menu, then come down into your system settings and then down into system, down into date and time, and just toggle through these options. Click OK, make sure your synchronized clock for the internet is off, come back into game, all your dens will respawn. You'll be able to go back onto your map and locate the seven star turret den, fly over to it, and then repeat the same going forward. So that is everything for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you found the build useful. Have a lot of fun with it over the weekend with the Goldengo. If you've got your own really effective solo build, do leave them down in the comment section below to share with the community so we can help each other out in this one uh, i hope you enjoy the event have a lot of luck with those herb mystica drops and uh, if you have enjoyed it of course do drop a like do subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye